Okay, I got this used Warrior Mako stick and head for my daughter. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do a, like a multicolor fade. Uh, mask it off and do purple over the top of it. All right, so I got some uh, Kelly Green dye in there now, and we're just gonna go ahead and do this in this corner. Okay, check it back on this. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's probably good for now. Put in uh, fuchsia this time, and we'll uh, dye another part of this head. Just another color. Okay, this has been in there for about three minutes. Take a look, see. All right, ready to go with the next color. Lemon yellow is it. Um, and so we'll, there's where we're at right now. We got the pink and the green. And we'll drop it in some yellow. All right, it's been in here for several minutes. Um, kind of working it around. And yeah, it's it's yellow. I would say it's more like a pea yellow than anything else, but um, it should work. All right, the last color on this multi fade is going to be orange. So the orange on this last side. All right. This has been in there long enough. That should work. So we got the orange, yellow, green, and the pink. So we'll rinse this off. All right. Should just leave this as is. Call it rainbow sherbet or something, but um, I'm going to try something I haven't seen before, something different. Maybe someone's done it, but I'm going to try it. So, what I have reinforcement labels uh, basically for your three ring binder stuff. These, some I've seen, are actually made of paper, but these appear to be made out of plastic so I'm assuming it's kind of a plastic vinyl so I'm going to go ahead cover it up with the circles the dots and then we'll dip it in purple got all the labels put on there a little string of them um, hopefully holds up well I'm Confident that it will. I know I'll probably have bleed on a couple of them just because I put them in some uh, sketchy spots, but uh, I really like the color of this, so I did quite a few stickers. All right, got the purple dye all mixed up. Head ready to go. Moment of truth. All right, just checked on this, and I'm starting to lose some of my stickers. Not lose them, but they're peeling off a little bit. So we're going to pull it. Purple looks pretty good. This is a little deeper, maybe on the bottom, around where the orange was. But we'll call it good for now. I think it looks okay. All right, so the places I was losing these were kind of along the back. Um, mostly it's a used head. So there's some scratches and stuff, and I think that's where I had the problems with sticking, with them sticking to the head. So there's some of those along the back that kind of peeled up, which I didn't expect too much from them, I guess. All right, got them all peeled off. I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, there was some of the residue. I can feel some stickiness from those uh, labels. But 
it's worth it all. I'll put a little elbow grease into that and get that cleaned off. But otherwise, I I really like this. Um, colors turned out good. I'm almost wishing maybe I would have done more stickers just to get a little more color. I did get some bleed, um, just kind of where I expected, you know, uh, along along grooves and edges and stuff like that. So, but I will I'll deal with a little bit of bleed for the result that I got. So, um, pretty cool. I like it. Reinforcement labels. That's that's all it was. I think they make paper ones, but don't use those. Um, use the vinyl ones and just deal with the residue from there.